Hiya. So, I've been working on the uh, first dungeon for the first uh, location in the game, which I think I mentioned I'd be doing at the end of the last video. I'd set myself the target of grey boxing the entire dungeon and doing a couple of new character action bits for it. I've not hit that target at all. Uh, hay fever literally kicked my ass uh, for about two and a half weeks this month. It's just been grim. So I've not been working anywhere near kind of full speed and then I've had a couple of side bits and pieces come up as well so um, I've done a good chunk of it I've not done the character actions I've not finished off the geometry I've really just put like the loose skeleton and stuff in place um, and it's maybe not as big as I thought I was going to do um, but I'll, I'll come back to that so what I thought I'd do today is just do a quick kind of playthrough of what I've got and just sort of talk about some stuff rather than going in something specific so let's pop this up and bring it full screen so, I have doors and stuff now, and like Link's Awakening, you can open them with pots. I've got toggle switches, moving platforms, uh, so these can be hit with the pot or with the fishing rod, if I bring it up. Um, so yeah, they just respond to anything the player does, basically. I've got different types of moving platforms, so these are just ping pong ones, I've got ones that will do in a loop, I've got ones that are triggered by the player. Different types of doors, so this one would have a lock on it because uh, you've not got the key. Um, done some conveyor belts. Obviously I need to do all the art and stuff. Now there's a little bug with this as you go on and off. And that's where the camera mode is changing. And I think it's just because it's not got the uh, blend position from the previous mode, so I need to go in and fix that. This will be the first combat arena thing. So these are just placeholder. The uh, the real NPCs I'm going to do probably a couple of months from now. And they'll drop in from the sky. So I'm not going to do any NPC logic for this stuff until I've fleshed out the world a little bit more. Uh, so there was going to be a pull lever here, which was the first character action, but I've not got on that at all because it needs character action, oh, sorry, it needs animation and uh, a bunch of other bits and pieces. But anyway, you pull that lever, that would make this chest appear. Open a chest, get the key. That will open a door that we've just seen. Um, this was quite fun, it's a post-process material. Um, I thought you'd be able to kind of dynamically... Uh, turn this on and off, but you can't. So there's a little trigger area here, and what it's actually doing is just um, tweaking the alpha of the effect. Because if I have it on all of the time, you'll see that where I'm leaning the uh, characters, or I'm tilting them, that his feet's actually clipping the floor. You don't notice it, but when there's a big yellow puddle at your feet, you kind of do. So I have to do it dynamically. That took ages. <laughs> it was not a good day. So anyway, you get the key, you come back over here. This opens the door. Um, now obviously there'll be more ceremony around all of this stuff here. I've not done any of the cutscene bits and bobs, all the sequences. But when you get back in this room, then you'll be able to see there's a chest here. This is probably going to have like a heart piece or just something optional in. And this switch here will turn off these conveyor belts. So this is a pressure type switch which again will spawn in some bad guys, kill the bad guys. The guards are just placeholder, I'll probably do like skeletons or something. Again cutscene that will lower this, red blue switch thing, flips those, you know this is proper Zelda stuff. Come back over here and we can go up here. So I didn't have, um, so you know, Zelda, you've got the stairs, you can go upstairs and downstairs, um, and I've not had that until now, so I've done like a little transition doorway. Um, I don't have upstairs and downstairs, it literally just whips you across the map and just covers it up. Um, not sure what I'm going to have in here, I don't really want to have as many dead rooms, empty rooms, um, so I might just do some like spikes or something, I don't know, I'm not sure about this room. Um, but you come back up here and this will sort of allow you to get over here and you'll be able to see this room um, but you won't be able to do much in it. 
because what you have to do is come back down here. Now this is like player triggered, but it's not very robust at the minute. I need to do a little bit more work. I'll probably actually just lock the player on this, so when they come on it'll play a little animation. They'll just be locked until it gets down the bottom, I'm not sure. Otherwise I need to have like two triggers just to make sure it's um, tracking. So yeah, little maze thing. Uh, these will be like rolling logs with spikes, floor spikes. Um, they'll probably be little... I want to have like little shelled NPCs that you can have little combat bits in in here. Um, so it's not really a maze. There's only one way you can go. It's totally linear. That gives you a little key. The little key comes up and you'll be able to open the door. That's got a bug because it's not turning blue, which I only noticed this morning. Don't know why that's not doing that. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. Um, so yeah, if you came back up here, you'd be able to go back upstairs and back up to that ring with the other red-blue switching. Um, but you still wouldn't be able to toggle that switch. The fishing rod's not actually far enough. doesn't go far enough for you to do it. Um, so what you have to do is come back down here. Now, this switch will be a little better, a little bit more hidden. Um, but when you take the pot off cutscene, you'll see that that triggers this moving platform. So you're able to get back up there now. Um, this will probably be a little combat thing I'll probably have some uh, more skeletons in here or something in here just so you can fight and this will be the pull levers again so you pull them one, two, three, four a couple of them might actually just drop down NPCs so you can fight but you've got to pull all of them within a time and then that makes the chest appear and the chest is going to have like a hook shot in so the original idea was that the uh, fishing rod I was just going to have it also be the hook shot so whatever you hit it would you know ping you over to it the problem with this is though because this is just fiddly you know it takes a bit of skill to actually be quite like good with a fishing rod and, and it's just it's too much hassle so i'm going to actually make the hook shot thing its own you know its own kind of device um i'll probably have like a, a permanent button assigned to it um so yeah, there's going to be a few changes to this stuff now because the original idea was all of these things would, you know, like the shovel and the fishing rod and that, they'd be overloaded, they'd have more than one function and they will still have more than one function but they're not going to be able to hide the sort of power-up aspect that I wanted so um, yeah, I'll come back to that and I'll explain more when I've sorted it out so anyway, hook shot to that the pot won't be here, that's just my debug build hook shot to this um, that's going to make some little columns appear, one here and then a couple down here. Now basically these columns will be all over the world and you'll be able to use the hook shot to just like hook yourself over, you know, proper Zelda stuff. But this is this is the bit where it's introduced. Um, come into here, pressure switch, makes the stairs appear, go around the other side, collect the key from that chest. So that'll be the key that opens up the main doorway, so we'll come back to that. Second combat bit in here. Do 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 do. And again, pots won't be here. This will be like hook shot switches. Get on the platform. And yeah, obviously the pillars will have like little rupees or collectibles on, so you can kind of like hookshot, hookshot, you know, you try and collect them all as you're going across. Um, the uh, the idea with this dungeon is actually there's going to be loads of like fog and stuff in it. Like uh, there's a few volumetric uh, fog things that have been appearing in Unreal and Fluid Ninja as well. I want to play with that. So hopefully it should look quite nice. You won't be looking down into the abyss down here. You'll be looking into animated fog. So anyway, there's a couple of uh, toggle switches there which you hook switch and that will open this door which takes us back up to here. Now the big question is now that you can open this door, what's behind this door? Um, 
I want this dungeon to be quite small. Um, I want it to be an intro. I don't want it to be like 30 or 40 minutes. I want it to be like 20 at most. Um, it should just be a little taster for the player because I've got loads of opportunities to do big stuff. Um, and I just want to kind of ease people in and get them a good sense of progression. And I don't actually want to have boss fights in the game because um, they're just a bit archaic and I don't like them. And they're stupidly expensive to make. Um, but I think I'm going to get trapped into my own choice of uh, genre here. And the uh, the trope will be too irresistible to people. And they'll all be moaning that there's no no boss fights. So I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see on this. Um, this does feel a little bit small to me at the minute. Um, it's almost like it's two thirds of what it should be. So I might just do another little set of rooms back here. Um not sure at the minute that's uh, i'm just going to basically sit on it i'll do the art pass and i'll do everything that i need to do to finish this off over the next month and then i'm going to leave it and uh see how i feel later on but um yeah this is this month's progress uh not as far as i wanted to be but you know you get months like this don't you and um <laughs> i've just honestly been rubbish as a good, for a good two and a half weeks just not been able to even look out of my eyeballs without them itching so um it's not been fun uh but yeah thanks for watching uh hopefully there's something a little bit more shiny uh next month when i do some art so take care bye